Hello everyone, today we are going to create some coins. Why? It's easy, because everybody on the earth need them. So, as usual, delete the cube, shift A and add a circle, hit one numpad to go to the front view, E to extrude, hit E again, S to scale, E Z to extrude along the Z axis, hit F to fill, Ctrl B to add a bubble. By holding Alt mouse left click, you can select this loop, hit Shift R to repeat the last command, select this one, Shift R again, mouse right click, shade smooth. Ctrl R to add a loop cut about there. Go to the modifiers, add modifier, mirror modifier. Change the axis into Z and activate clipping. Hit 7 numpad to go to the top view. Now you can grab any reference that you have. In this case, I would like to start with this star. Click on this icon, activate opacity and bring the opacity down. Go to X-ray mode and position the reference as you want. Go to the edit mode, select this vertex, shift D to duplicate. Now by holding Ctrl mouse right click, we can add new vertices. Now select this vertex and this one and hit F to fail. We can delete the reference image, we don't need it anymore. Select this vertex and hit L to select linked. Hit GZ to move along the Z axis. Now hit E to extrude, just like so. F to fill, hit I to inset faces, Ctrl R to add support loop cuts there. So go to the modifier and apply the mirror modifier. Select this edge, hit X, dissolve edges. Go to face select and select all these faces. Hit I to inset faces, click on this box, hit I again, activate individual. We can scale these faces out or in, it's up to you. Ctrl R and add support loop cuts on the top and support loop cuts on the bottom just like so. Hit RX90 to rotate around the X axis. And now we need to reset the location rotation scale into default. To do that, hit Ctrl A, all transforms. For this tutorial, I like to add a simple material for the coin. Maybe in future videos, I can show you how you can create complex materials using Quixel Mixer. Go to the material tab to add a new color. From here we can add a color code. You can copy the color code in the description below or you can use Google and search for gold code number. We need to increase the metallic into one and you can play with the specular and roughness to get the final result. When you are happy with that, it's time to add a studio, a camera, lights and so on. So guys, that's it. If you have any question, let me know in the comment, please. And see you in the next one.